to have superpowers, it's not necessary to live in the Marvel or DC universe. It's possible in reality because it's enough to be born with genetic mutations. They can give a person super strength and super speed, make them immune to poison, or even turn their bones into concrete. This is Infinity, and in this episode, I'll tell you about these and other genetic mutations that give superpowers. Let's go! Super Speed To become a great runner, you have to spend thousands of hours at the stadium, running laps one after another. Only through hard work can you learn to run very fast. Or you could be born with the mutated ACTN3 gene. Generally, this gene is present in every human body, but in some people it mutates and overproduces alpha-actinin-3. This protein is responsible for controlling the rapidly contracting muscle fibers that allow us to run. An increase in its amount results in an explosive burst of muscle strength. As a result, a person with a mutated gene can run very fast. People with this feature easily run sprint distances. By the way, scientists say there are two versions of this mutated gene and athletes who had both versions performed much better than their colleagues who did not have the gene mutation. Scientists could potentially learn how to make this mutation artificially and then they could turn anyone into a runner who could outrun Usain Bolt himself in the 100-meter dash. Immunity to Poison Poison is a terrible power. Sometimes a single drop of poison is enough to kill a person, but poison is not terrible for everyone. For example, the inhabitants of the Argentinian Andes are immune to poison, which may well be called a superpower. Swedish scientists have studied the DNA of the inhabitants of the Argentinian Andes and discovered that their genetic code contains a modified variant of the AS3MT gene, which made their bodies invulnerable to arsenic. The reason is that the poison is found in the region's rocks and is leached out by its groundwater. The water that these natives drink contains a dose of arsenic exceeding the norm of 80 times. But despite the daily exposure of the deadly metal, the locals remain perfectly healthy, all thanks to a gene that mutated after thousands of years of natural selection. Arsenic does not accumulate in the bodies of the Argentine natives, so the owners of the unique gene can consume as much arsenic as they want, nothing will happen to them. It's estimated that only 6,000 people now have the gene. Immunity to poison is a cool superpower, but it's hardly practical in today's world. What about the ability to learn everything or limit yourself to a few hours of sleep a night? Well, these superpowers are certainly more useful. Stay tuned to learn about these and other superpowers caused by genetic mutations. Everyone remembers those scenes from superhero movies where the villains beat up the superheroes and they don't care. Superheroes don't seem to feel pain at all. Well, that's possible in the real world. Some people in the world don't feel pain, and the secret is in mutant genes. The SCN11A gene determines the amount of sodium in the body cells. If the mutant gene lowers sodium levels, the nerve cells don't have enough substance to send those signals, making the body insensitive to pain. Simply put, because of an abnormality in the genes, people with this feature don't know when they're in pain. They can bang their little toes on nightstands all day long and they don't care. Isn't that cool? Actually, not really. Because these people don't feel pain, they don't realize when they've been hurt, so they get hurt very often. These people may not notice when they've suffered a serious fracture or when they've stepped on a nail. In some cases, this feature is very dangerous. But there is a silver lining to it. Scientists are researching the mutant genes in these people, hoping to come up with revolutionary new painkillers. Some people don't notice broken bones, while others simply never break bones. Bones of steel is such a next superpower in this episode. It stems from an interesting genetic trait. People with steel bones have a mutation in the LRP5 gene, which is responsible for bone density in the human body. In the average person, this gene maintains bone density at a normal level which is enough to keep bones from breaking under moderate intensity. In people with the mutation, the gene maintains bone density at incredible levels. The mutation makes their bones very strong, wide, and dense. Scientists even compare such people's bones to concrete or iron. You could take a tremendous amount of effort to break them. That sounds very cool. Some people are not afraid of fractures, and that's great, but it's not all so rosy. There's a price to pay for everything and the people with the LRP5 gene mutation pay with their health. They often suffer from wear and tear on their joints, and sometimes they experience terrible side effects, like hearing loss. 
no fear. If you've seen Lock and Key TV series, you remember how Kinsey used one of the keys to get rid of the fear in her head. Surprisingly, this is possible in real life. You don't need any magic keys to do this. You just need to be born with the rare Erbach with disease. In some cases, the disease only blunts the fear, but sometimes fear is unfamiliar to a person with this pathology at all. The absence of fear is a real superpower. You'd probably like to have it, but if you look at it, there are more disadvantages than advantages. People who have no fear are capable of the most reckless and even crazy things. They can take venomous snakes in their hands with a smile on their face, run towards a criminal who got a knife in their hand, run over steep cliffs and roofs, cross the road without looking at the sides, and so on. These people cannot react adequately to dangerous situations. They simply don't have a survival mechanism. Some of them not only do not feel fear, they don't even recognize this emotion in other people. In addition, patients with Erbach wife disease have other symptoms and problems. The worst part is that there's no cure for the disease yet, and doctors can only prescribe medications to relieve symptoms. Recently, midterm exams were passed in universities, and in some universities and colleges, they're still going on. I'm sure that at this difficult time, students dream of having the superpower to learn everything so they don't fail exams. Some people are lucky. They have this ability from birth. These people are born with savant syndrome. As a rule, these people have a phenomenal photographic memory. But in other cases, the feature is manifested differently. The amount of information memorized by such people is simply amazing. For example, American Kim Peek memorized up to 98% of the information he read and remembered the contents of thousands of books for which he was compared to a computer. And Stephen Wiltshire can fly over a megalopolis in a helicopter and then draw a detailed map of the city. Even the number of windows and hundreds of houses will be exact. This is all very cool, but there are disadvantages to this ability. As a rule, people with savant syndrome are handicapped. Some even show signs of mental retardation and some cannot speak. Students dream not only of being able to learn and memorize everything, they would also like to sleep as little as possible and still get enough sleep. Actually, that's probably the dream of most people on the planet. Imagine how cool it is to get not seven, eight, or nine hours of sleep, but just three. People with the HDEC2 gene mutation are very lucky in this respect. Because of this genetic trait, they can sleep for three to four hours, wake up and feel maximally energized. They don't get sleepy during the day and they have plenty of energy, which means they can get a lot more done than normal people. In addition, they're super productive. One of the most renowned superpowers is, of course, super strength. To become a strong man, you can spend years training hard and eating literally by the hour, or you can be born with myostatin-dependent muscle hypertrophy. Generally, myostatin is a protein that inhibits muscle growth. In people with this genetic trait, myostatin does not work properly. It doesn't block the growth of muscles very much, which is why the muscles of these people grow very actively. Some people are at least twice as muscular as normal people, and the trait is manifested almost from birth. Liam Hoekstra was born in Michigan in 2005. The boy could pull up at the age of eight months and was helping his parents move furniture around the house when he was one and a half year old. Not many people in our world have this ability, and scientists are trying to curb it. It's thought that by studying these mutant genes, we might one day learn how to treat muscle diseases like dystrophy. That's all, guys. What superpower would you like to have? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.